All right, in today's lesson, we're gonna learn how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. Kaze, you ready to do this? Yeah. Okay, check out the deal here. Here we have a number line, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure you've already dealt with positive numbers before. You know, one, two, three, four, five, and whatnot. Yeah. Now, we're also gonna introduce negative numbers. These are the numbers to the left of zero, okay? Okay. And these are known as the evil twins of positive numbers, okay? Okay. So if we look at positive two, who's this evil twin? Negative two. That's right, I saw that show myself. Here, at positive four, what's the evil twin of positive four? Negative. Negative four, all right. So every number that's positive has an evil twin that's negative, all right? Okay. And when you put them together, they always bring us right back to zero. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. so let's look at some addition here. Now we're gonna talk about adding numbers together, okay? okay. And when you're doing that, let's think of it as the temperature, okay? Okay. So as the temperature rises, it becomes more positive, right? Yeah. So if you add a positive number plus another positive number, it starts getting a little hot, mm -hmm. right? But if you add a negative number going down plus another negative number, it starts to get pretty chilly in here, yeah. okay? Okay. So let's do this here. For example, if you add three plus two, that's a hot number plus another hot number, that gives us what? Five. Five, all right. I see you starting to break out a little sweat, you okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now we have negative four plus negative three. It's getting a little chilly, right? Mm -hmm. So we know the temperature is gonna be negative. So what's negative four plus negative three? Negative seven. All right, very good. There we go, moving right along. Now, one of the trickiest problems in math is subtracting a negative, all right? Mm -hmm. It gets very confusing, even for me, and I'm the math man. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I use, all right, to, to do this problem. It's called KISS. Keep it simple, students, all right? Anytime you see subtraction, you wanna do the big switch, all right? The big switch now means changing subtraction to addition and changing the sign of the next number, all right? Mm -hmm. Now we're not gonna do a little switch, which would just be changing subtraction to addition. We're gonna do the big switch, okay? okay. Which is changing subtraction to addition and then changing the sign of the next number. So in this case here, we had five minus negative three, which was confusing. Mm -hmm. After the big switch, it is just five plus three, which gives us what? Eight. You got it. Eight is the answer, all right? Okay. Now looking at this next example, we have negative seven minus four. When you see subtraction, we gotta do the what? The big switch. The big switch. So we change subtraction to addition and change that positive four to a negative four. Okay. Now we're gonna to add together two cold numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So negative seven plus negative four would give us what? Negative 11. You got it, negative 11. That's double O chili, right? That's real cold, <laughs> okay? So before we do this next set of examples, remember this. When you're adding numbers with the same sign, they become more of who they are. So if you're a positive person and you hang around more positive people, you become what? More positive. More positive, exactly. But if you're a negative person, you hang around some bad negative people, what are you gonna become? Negative. You're gonna become negative, right? So you wanna always try and hang around positive people. Okay. So the last thing here is, let's say we're adding a number that's positive and negative. The question is, will the answer be positive or negative? Well, we just go back to the temperature, right? Mm -hmm. Will the end temperature be hot or cold? So looking at negative five plus two, do we have more cold or do we have more hot? More cold. More cold, right? Because five is bigger than two. So mm -hmm. we know our answer is already going to be cold. Okay. And now to determine what it is, it's real simple. You take the big number minus the small number. So five minus two gives us what? Three. Three. So the answer would be negative, negative three. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next example here. We have subtraction, right? Mm -hmm. So that means we have to do the what? The big switch. The big switch, you got it. So we change subtraction to addition and change the sign of the next number. Now we have three plus seven, which gives us what? 10. You got it, all day, every day. <laughs> all right, now the next problem, uh-oh. We have something positive, which is hot, plus something negative. One hot, one cold. So, which one, what would the end result be? Hot or cold? Hot. Hot, exactly, because 12 is bigger than seven. Right? Yeah. So we know it's gonna be positive. Now we just do the last step. What is 12 minus seven? Five. Five, that's right. Five is the answer. All right? 
Now for the last example here, we have negative three minus eight. Uh-oh, we see subtraction, so we do what? The big switch. The big switch. So we change subtraction to addition, make the next number negative. Whew, I need to get my jacket, it's about to get real cold in here. What's negative three plus negative eight? Negative 11. You got it, negative 11, which is real cold. So there you go, Kaisley. You learn how to add, subtract, positive, negative numbers. So grab your math book, let's go to the mall, and let's get ahead in math. All right. <laughs>